Welcome to the Low Carb USA podcast, where we seek to inspire you to help us build this community. I'm Doug Reynolds. And this is Pam Devine. Hi there, I'm Kristen Simon. And I'm Sarah Alves. And we're a part of the health coach leadership team at Restore Health. We've been helping people reverse metabolic syndrome since 2016 through health coaching. And last year, we partnered with Low Carb USA and Dr. Ben Bocchicchio to develop the Restore Health Low Carb Program. It's designed to help you and your patients reach and sustain success through a low carb lifestyle. Today, we're going to share a little bit about this program and how it works, as well as the benefits of our unique approach. You'll also get to hear from some of our members as well. My name is Glenn Goltz. I first heard about Restore Health when I was referred directly by my primary care physician, uh, Dr. Brian Lenskis. My urgent goal was to begin losing weight to, co to correct my obesity, and then also to correct as quickly as I could the lab studies that were pushing me toward uh, insulin resistance. My name's Pamela, and I heard about Restore Health from uh, Pam Devine and Doug Reynolds. I've been active in the low carb San Diego community for a while and they brought up the fact that Restore Health was a program they wanted to use. I wanted to see if I could make some changes that, that I need. I live pretty much a low carb life and lifestyle, uh, but there were some changes that I wanted to make in my health, mainly poor, poor sleeping habits for years and years and years. Hi, my name is Terry Smith Wright. I was interested in trying Restore Health when I read about the multiple levels that they address. It's more than just what foods to eat. I did do a low carb program, uh, but it was more of a low carb and lean, all lean protein. And while I was successful at weight loss, I was hungry all the time and it just didn't stick. There were things that got in the way like stress eating or not sleeping. I couldn't get there. And when I read about this program, I thought it's the program that may be able to help me get there and flip those switches. So what is Restore Health Low Carb? It is a comprehensive program that combines everything you need to know to live a healthy, low-carb lifestyle with a live personal health coach who can support you as you work towards your goals, delivered via an easy-to-use mobile app. We take a holistic approach to health, focusing not just on nutrition, but also smart exercise training and sleep and stress. And our coaches are all Low Carb USA certified through the National Academy for Sports Nutritionists, Sports Nutritionists and Personal Training Forces. Let's take a look at how it all comes together. Our web and mobile app makes it easy. Our interface is intuitive and super simple to use. We know you're busy and that your time is valuable. That's why we deliver everything you need every day via our Today screen. You don't have to go looking for where to start or what's next. It's all set up for you to do and you only have to spend 15 minutes in the app each day but you're in the driver's seat, so you can always choose to do a longer workout or explore supplemental resources or attend a webinar. On that Today screen, you'll see your daily lesson and activities that help you reinforce what you're learning. And throughout the app, there are additional opportunities for learning via the community support section, the Knowledge Center, and live group coaching webinars. All of our content brings together the best of behavior change philosophy, Low Carb USA's nutrition expertise, and Dr. Ben Bocchicchio's Smart Exercise Program to create a robust content library that meets you exactly where you are. So let's take a closer look at exactly how we integrate coaching and behavior change to deliver on nutrition and exercise. One of the foundational tools in our program is meal logging. You log all your meals via the app or web by snapping a picture and typing in the details of a meal. This is an excellent tool for building mindful awareness of what you are eating each day and how your nutrition can impact your overall goals. But you also get feedback from your coach about every meal you log. Your coach will nudge you in the right direction, helping you make small steps over time so that you can eventually reach your goals. So I think one of the great things about the program is you just take a photograph of your food and your coach gives you the feedback. And of course you have the different color codes. The food logs 
really already points you in the right direction. You don't have to measure your food. You just have to make sure you try to stay in the green as much as possible and stay out of the red. And it's just a real easy way to keep track of your food. It's been doable to me because food logging isn't a teaspoon of this and four ounces of that. It's, it's almost like food journaling. And if I'm feeling something in my food log, I can put that in there and the coach can respond to it. So I like that it's doable in what is a pretty busy time for me. We also have short and useful lessons that educate you on the basics of low carb, high fat nutrition. We take it one step further and go beyond the what of eating to also explore the why and the how of eating with topics on mindset and situation. I'm particularly taken by the quality of the lessons, uh, the, the superb quality, uh, the production quality of the video of the lessons. And I'm grateful that everything that I do is short, brief, and to the point. That is, doing this is not intrusive. It is the first thing that I do in the morning to step on the scale, to do a lesson. And it's also the last thing that I do in the evening is to record my meals. It brackets my day. The biggest thing that I've learned in, in terms of the program has been to gain a, a better understanding of my own emotional drivers for overeating, over drinking, and gaining uh, through the, the lessons uh, a better understanding of cravings, pausings, uh, small portions, and sustainable better choices. I think the program is very well done. I like the videos. I like the transcripts with the videos. And there's an educational part that you can go and find all kinds of things to read about low carb living and exercise. So let's watch one of those core nutrition lessons together. We know that the idea of making changes to your eating habits can be intimidating. The good news is that you're not alone. We were all brought up in different households and cultures that favor different foods. Making healthier choices can be a challenge at first. So let's talk about how your nutrition guide makes it as easy as possible to begin eating healthier. It all starts with the latest science that eating a diet low in carbohydrates, moderate in protein, and plentiful in healthy fats is best for reducing insulin and the risk of chronic disease. We'll cover this more in other lessons. The goal is to help you personalize the guide so it works with your lifestyle, preferences, and health concerns. The one-size-fits-all approach need not apply here. And because nobody has time to memorize a big list of foods, we've made choosing healthier foods as easy as following a traffic light. Your personalized food nutrition guide in the app lists common foods as either green, yellow, or red. It's super simple. Green means go, eat these foods until you're full. Yellow means slow, watch your portions. And red means stop. Try to eat very sparingly or skip them as you become more comfortable doing so. Many foods in our nutrition guide include information on why they're in that category, so you can continue to make independent choices. The quality of the food that you eat is also important. Ideally, choose whole foods that haven't been processed. In other words, these are foods that don't need an ingredient label, such as meat, seafood, vegetables, and healthy fats. And most importantly, remember that this is not a diet. It's a new lifestyle. As you know, there are many diets out there, some healthy and some unhealthy, that may produce short-term results but aren't sustainable. You've probably tried them and given up after a while. This program is different. Our nutrition guide is designed to be a sustainable lifestyle that will result in weight loss and other health benefits that last. All right, that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. Together, we'll build a healthy life, one choice at a time. We use a nutrition guide that makes low carb, high fat more intuitive. We break it down into green, AKA go foods, yellow, your slow foods, and red, no foods. There's also a restaurant guide that makes eating out easy by highlighting your best options, plus a ton of healthy and de delicious recipes, just like this almond cake. We also have filling meals like steak and bacon wrapped asparagus, homemade dressings and condiments, and tons of snacks like the spicy almonds. Using minimal equipment, you can get a quick and effective workout in using Dr. Ben Bohikio's Smart X training philosophy. 
SMART stands for Slow Maximum Resistance Training, and these workouts target major muscle groups working slowly until muscle failure to cause a desired metabolic response. We know that motivation is a wave, not a constant. It goes up and down. So to meet that need, we have workouts that vary in length, ranging from 30 seconds to four to seven minutes and up to 15 minutes. You can choose what you need on each day and you get to find what hard work looks like for you. That means that the same workout can have the desired results for a beginner, for someone who's comfortable with exercise, or for someone like Doug Reynolds, who's a pro. All of these exercises are available to you on demand via the app and web, so you can fit them into your schedule and even take them with you when you're traveling. Not only will you have access to all this great info, you will also be paired with a Low Carb USA certified health coach who will be with you every step of the way. Coaches stay in touch via daily text messaging and monthly phone calls to ensure that you're getting the support you need. If you've never worked with a health coach before, you may be wondering, what even is a health coach? What do they do? Something we heard often sums it up well. I know what to do, I just don't know how to do it. Coaches are the how. Health coaches work with you in a client-centered process to help and empower you to develop and achieve your health and wellness goals. Basically, they are the experts when it comes to behavior change, and they work with you one-on-one -on -one in a process that's all about you, your goals, your motivation, your ability, your experience, your barriers, and your success. Coaches help you first identify what your goals are, then help you identify habits and behaviors that you can add, change, or remove in order to get there. They add a layer of accountability. They give you space to practice your new habits. They help you learn from your mistakes and that it's okay to make mistakes. And ultimately, they help you learn to be your own best coach. The coaching has been huge for me. She makes me think. She's making me think about my reactions, my reactions to food, my habits with food. Um, really the psychology, my relationship with food. She's really helping me think about that. Busy seems to have exactly the right balance for me uh, between being attentive and supportive and yet not being overly intrusive or technically instructive. And um, she is endlessly informative and constantly positive. Um, it's a great comfort to have a, for me to have a coach that is a person on the other, on the other end of the line that's only one text or one phone call away. I really enjoy working with Coach Busy. Um, she was really, really fantastic. She's always very good at getting back or if you have a question and very positive and supporting, supportive. I think it's nice having, you know, having the coach, having somebody actually that's actually working with you and you can actually have a time to talk to her directly, either a video call or telephone call or, or um, text but it's it's nice touching base you know on the phone as she said it, <laughs> she's a wise soul in a young body <laughs> so what are the benefits of coaching to start studies show that coaching can result in clinically relevant changes and improvements in biometric factors like blood pressure cholesterol triglycerides fasting glucose weight waist circumference and overall cardiorespiratory fitness that's something that we've seen over and over with our members. Not only do they meet their personal health and wellness goals, like being able to play with their kids more or taking the stairs without losing their breath or sleeping through the night, but they also see these health improvements. Coaching also leads to more sustainable success because of the approach it takes. Coaches don't tell you what to do. They won't say, oh, you need to lose weight, but they'll ask you to think about your reasons for change and the benefits you'd get the way your life would change if you lost weight. Coaches use motivational interviewing techniques to help you make changes on your own terms for reasons that matter to you. Coaches create space. Your coach isn't there to judge or shame you for your choices, and they're not assigning moral value to your behavior. Instead, they'll help you learn to take a more curious approach to the changes you're making. We know that approach can lead to valuable learning and growth and coaches will keep you accountable, asking questions or helping you see things from a new perspective. Coaches sit in the passenger seat. They travel alongside you, offering support, 
and empowering you to make meaningful changes to your habits and behaviors. I am now in my fourth month and I've had no problem sustaining it, uh, sustaining the, the, the pattern of eating, sleeping, activity, uh, stress reduction. Uh, it has been wonderful during that time. Yesterday I saw Dr. Lenskis for the first time in uh, directly person to person in the past since I started this program. But he was thrilled that I've lost almost 30 pounds during that time. And that uh, my laboratory studies in every instance had become better. My glucose, glucose, insulin, and, and uh, inflammatory markers were all excellent. The best thing for me is the fact that I've completely changed my sleep pattern. I've slept pretty much all my life with the television on and could not go to sleep without some kind of sound and the TV although I would never, not necessarily watch anything. In the time that I was in the program, I can go to sleep in a dark, quiet room now, and I have no trouble getting to sleep, and I feel great in the day, mm -hmm. and it certainly helps with the stress level, too. Um, my, I think my stress level now, even though I'm out there doing things that I'm supposed to do, is, is completely way down on the on the stress level now when i started this i was i was putting a number nine but i think i'm about a number three i mean life is still going on there's still things to take care of and I'm, I'm getting out there and doing it i think the program is helping me or will help me sustain a low carb lifestyle because it is not complex it is straightforward and it's and it because of the simplicity and because of the change of think, I, I really feel like I can make this one stick, that I'm gonna be able to make this a permanent change in my life by working through this program. My name is Dr. Heather Pickett. I've been working in the low carb space for about two and a half years. I'm a family medicine physician and do a lot of integrative medicine. I've done that for about 25 years, um, but really looking into this lifestyle medicine more intensively, especially in the last year and a half. Since I've been kind of solo doing it, I've been just using my own resources and referring my patients to that and trying to work with them um, within my clinic. So I was just kind of doing it myself and sending them to different areas. So what this has done is it has totally expanded a, what I can do and what we can talk about in my visit with them, because I know then when they go home, what they could be experiencing on the app is uh, reinforcement and also a lot of things that I was using my time to do and I don't need to do now. And the other thing I love is the accountability part because I may not see them for two to four weeks initially as they're starting on a new lifestyle program, but now I know that, hey, I know they have a health coach there, um, they can access, you know, dietary issues, they can access articles, all of those kinds of things that I was kind of doing on my own and teaching some of my other providers in my practice to do. So this has really been phenomenal for me. And I've also liked it doing it as a patient to kind of see how it would, how it would work. And it was helpful for me too. And um, I just love the, the whole person perspective, right? We're addressing sleep, we're addressing mindfulness, we're addressing mental health, we're addressing our relationship with food, uh, we're addressing exercise and, and education. I think the way that you guys have already combined it all has been phenomenal. I loved the health coach part, knowing that there was an actual another human being who was involved and who was kind of pinging me and checking in and seeing how I was doing and it was there to answer questions and asked questions herself, that was really phenomenal. I love the live person part of it rather than just this inanimate app. You guys have it all on there. It's so great. If you are ready to start your journey with Restore Health Low Carb, you can visit our website, restorehealth.com slash low carb. We can't wait to have you. And for providers, if you're interested in learning more about how you can refer your patients to our program, you can contact us at the number on the screen. In closing, Restore Health Low Carb is a product of our company, Zillion. We are a health technology company and we build solutions for chronic conditions impacting our communities. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website or call the number on the screen. 
guys ready for some questions? Absolutely. Very good. Okay, first question from um, Andrew. Andrew has a question. Does the NASN certification make you eligible to be a Restore coach? Um, thank you, Andrew. That is a great question. So we do require coaches that are coaching on the uh, Restore Health Certified by Low Carb program to be NASN certified. Um, however, uh, our coaches coach on a lot of different programs. So Restore is a, a part of, of a larger company we, called Zillion. And if you're interested in potential uh, employment opportunities at Zillion, I would be more than happy um, to send uh, the email that you can reach out to, or you can always be on the lookout for our job postings on LinkedIn. Um, I'll actually post in the chat the email you can contact to hear, learn about our current uh, job availabilities. Michelle has a question. Sure. What kind of hours do you have as a, as a coach? Also, how long did your training take? Sure. So our coaches are full-time employees. And like we said, we, um, our coaches work on this program and a variety of other programs as well. Um, so we work Monday through Friday, you know, 40 hour work week, um, depending on what our coaches, you know, do, they may have days where they start a little later, um, and take some calls in the evening with members or start a little earlier and finish up their day earlier. Um, and then how long does our training take it? It, it for this particular, it's the, the um, NASN certification in addition to um, being a certified health coach. So the NASN certification for our class took um, a little while. We went about it a little slower, but we knew that we had to take our time uh, or that we were able to take our time with it. Um, so yeah. Good. Okay, we have more questions. Guys, don't hold back. These, these are seasoned health coaches. So hey, Jeff, I, I have a couple of questions I, that people have been asking me and I think uh, the girls from Restore here could probably give better answers than I could. I mean, why do you think the program is different from other digital programs out there? It seems like everybody's saying the same thing about what they're offering. Uh, I also feel like I can download from iTunes or Google Play for much less. Why, what's the advantage? Why would I prefer to do this? That's a great question. Yeah, you know, I think that uh, what sets us apart from other apps, uh, you know, to just put it at a high level is our coaching, um, the content of our app and just the, the usability of our app. You know, um, with coaching, uh, you have a real relationship with the person. You can see I'm a person, Kristen's a person, and um, you'll never be messaged by, an, by a bot. Uh, you have the ability to talk with your coach and um, learn how to make real sustainable uh, health changes in a way that like it, an app just can't always reinforce by itself. And so um, we use a lot of positive reinforcement and, um, and go at your own pace. So you're not like, uh, you know, at, a, at another popular app, you might, uh, be penalized if you don't log all your meals or or you go over your calories or something like that but um that's just not how we do it and it's a lot more positive um and then you know of course the awesome content is certified by low carb usa you're not going to find you know all of that centralized and um you know of course we have Dr. Ben's SmartX training in there as well. So it's a one-stop shop to really get all that you need um, to really live a low-carb lifestyle well. Yeah, I think if I can kind of add to that too, I mean, I think that <clears throat> something I think about when I hear questions like that is if you can think of a lot of the free apps that exist out there, uh, if you've used it once, you've probably used it more than once and that's because it doesn't work for good. And so folks who use our program, like you heard from um, Glenn and Terry and Pam, they find sustainable success. And it's because we don't just 
you know, we're not just prescriptive, eat this, don't eat that, but we like go deeper to understand your motivation and your needs and your challenges so that uh, what we're doing is truly changing your lifestyle from the inside out, not just by changing what foods, you know, you're buying at the grocery store um, and, you know, saying, all right, that's it. That's all that matters. There's a lot more that goes into it than that. And uh, I think that sets us apart and the coaching is, is the big part of that. I got a question. I go to a low carb doc from Pam. I go to a low carb doc. Would your app be a good addition to it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's a wonderful question. You know, um, I, you heard from Dr. Pickett on our presentation that, you know, a low carb provider only has so much time with you in a, in a, um, a session with them. And so to be able to have the ongoing reinforcement of the app and of your health coach allows you to continue to make progress in between your visits with your low carb doctor. Mm -hmm. Michelle is asking, what, what does it cost to have these, this app or coaches per month? What does the program cost? Yeah. So the program cost is broken up. It just depends on, um, a choice that you want to make at the beginning. So you can either choose to participate in the program um, for uh, to receive devices. So you would receive um, a digital uh, wireless scale and a Fitbit. Um, and that cost would be $99 a month for it's a six month uh, commitment period. Or um, if you don't want devices, if you have your own, it's $65 a month um, for the same six month. And then the, um, you also can prepay for either of those options and get a, a pretty significant discount. Very good. As coaches, what is the single most important thing you do to help someone adapt to this lifestyle, change their life? What do you find the most impactful role you have? Gosh, that, you know, that's a hard question to answer just like in a, packaged way because everyone is different. And I think that in and of itself really speaks to um, how the role of a coach is beneficial because we can tailor uh, our program and our approach to uh, a member's individual needs. Um, but just at a high level, it's really about personalizing that support and accountability. Um, we, we have a philosophy where we try to make things as simple as possible. And so whenever you're having trouble um, getting into a, a good healthy habit or breaking another one, we try to make it, we, we help you scale it down so that you can um, make it so that it's so easy, you, it's, it's easy to do. <laughs> and so, you know, for example, um, our exercises, we, we have anywhere from only 30 seconds to 15 minutes, because if you can't quite bring yourself to a 15 minute workout, when you first begin, you can start at 30 seconds and build from there. Um, we, uh, as a coach, we really work to um, help you help you shift your mindset. So you're um, oftentimes people might have a lot of negative feelings about themselves because of um, inability to commit to a nutrition program or exercise program, or maybe they have some stubborn weight loss that has been really uh, tricky. And um, we really love to cover um, a very holistic uh, view of your health so that we can um, address that, that stress that it brings to you um, to feel negatively about yourself. And so we really work hard to, um, you know, through day by day, step by step, changing, changing that narrative and being able to um, help you enjoy the process of being healthy and not just waiting for the result. So Kristen, do you have anything to add to that? I love what you just said, like enjoy the process of being healthy and not just waiting for the result. Sorry, I was just kind of taking a moment to enjoy that. Um, yeah, I think if you were to ask any of like the three um, folks, members that were on our video, they would all have different answers as to what the most important thing, you know, that their coach did uh, was. So I think, I think you hit it right on. It's kind of that personalized support the the ability like to to be there in whatever way you need us to be there um i think is i think is a, is a big is the big key michelle has a question 
What kind of support do the coaches have? For example, if a client is having sleep issues, uh, where can that can the coach turn to for more information and or ideas to help with the issue? Yeah. So one thing that's really important to know and understand about um, health coaching and and what we believe about health coaching, especially, is that coaches. Uh, it's not our role to, to diagnose, to prescribe, or to treat. It's our role to facilitate behavior change. And so what that means is that you could come to us with um, goals or issues around sleep, around stress, around nutrition, around whatever it is. And it is through, through our behavior change uh, tools, through our uh, coaching, which we use a style of motivational interviewing, eliciting a person's own reasons for change. Uh, that is how we move to action, like no matter what the issue is. Now, as far as educational resources, both our members and our coaches do have access to um, lessons and articles and activities that talk about sleep in addition to all of the other um, concepts, you know, that we talked about nutrition, stress, exercise, and some specific things to like different situations or changing your mindset. Um, they have access to that. And then internally, we do a lot of training and education for our team. That's really important to us to make sure that we're continuing to grow and learn and stay current. Certainly, um, Jeff's uh, class through NASA was a big part of that. Dr. Ben is always a wonderful source of wisdom for us. But internally, we do a lot of training as well. Next question. Somebody was really paying attention to your presentation because at the end of the, the, the presentation, there was a slide that had, you have other customizable options. Yeah. So um, could you explain more about what, what does that mean? Yeah, um, I'll take this one if that's okay, yeah, Sarah. <laughs> um, so basically, kind of like when Andrew asked about, um, you know, being a coach or things like that earlier. Restore Health is um, is our is one of our programs, and the larger company uh, is is Zillion, and we are a technology company um, first and foremost. And so we have integrated into working with products, and that means that we can use our technology, like our mobile app, our features, our coaching platform, um, and the content to create unique and branded digital programs. So it's sort of software as a service. So what we've done here with, um, with Doug and Low Carb USA is a, a version of that. And we have the ability, if this sounds right, or if this sounds close to right, or if you're just curious about what it might look like if you were to take like your dreams and ideas and turn it into something, that's, that's, what, we're, that's what we're really good at. Um, so we have the ability for, if you're interested as um, a member, to just join in with any of our existing programs today. If you're interested as a provider to start offering this to your patients, you could offer it with our existing programs today. Um, but also there's you know, further solutions further down the line um, that are a little less turnkey and a little bit more unique and branded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kristen, I think to add to that, um, it, there are a number of people that are in metabolic medicine now and have broach some of these topics and services and they have seen what restore has to offer and have said you know this is really done for me and i like what's done for me and if i could have some uh like you said private labeling or something so I, it comes from me rather than a, a third party is there a way to do that that's exactly what you guys can do uh and there are already in in a in stone, we actually have these programs ready for you to go and can customize it to whatever your specific practice emphasis is and whatever needs you might uh, want for your patients and for your clients, whatever that might be. Yeah. What, what does the, the, the typical restore client look like? What is, is there common things? If, if you're trying to figure out, is this right for me? What, what would be the, the typical person you coach? Uh, you mean for as far as members of like Restore Health, Low Carb? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about doing this. What, 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 what does it look like? 
What, what does it look like Excellent. for that person? What, what are the commonalities? Are they, are they all, are you, do you guys mostly see men? Do you mostly see women? Do you, the, I just want to like, you know, what's the demographic? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I, all of the above. <laughs> so, you know, we have a, we, every person that we coach is so different and brings their own set of, uh, uh, barriers and their own set of um, skills that they can use to overcome those barriers. And so, you know, we see uh, people in their 20s and 30s, but we also see people in their 60s and 70s. And um, we have a pretty split group between male and female. And so we really do, we have a lot of experience working with just about anyone in all walks of life. Um, you know, we, we definitely we have people who work shift work. And so they really, you know, often have trouble with sleeping because they work during the night and have to try to figure out how to sleep during the day and stay healthy, you know, and, um, but we also have people who are CEOs of companies or, you know, work at a desk job or now, you know, we have a lot of members that are working from home with their kids at home as well. And so, you know, we've seen every issue on the planet and, and that's the beauty of coaching and our program is that it's customizable and you're able to get what you need from it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, go ahead, Chris. Thank you, Dr. Ben. Um, I was just going to add to that. I think that generally we see, you know, we see success with folks um, that, that join, join the program. I think a lot of what we hear from people that might kind of clue in, um, we often hear, like I've tried other things before and it didn't work. And I think that um, that is that is where where we do kind of shine and find our sweet spot because of our different approaches, um, maybe with folks who have tried on their own or who have tried other common popular programs before and not been able to sustain any uh, long term results when it comes to their habits or their health and their wellness. But um, we also see plenty of folks where it's their first time, you know, they got maybe uh, lab results that weren't so great and they, they decided to make a change. Um, but I do think for a lot of folks, it's pretty common to um, feel frustrated and feel um, a little bit like cynical even when you start to think about making changes to your health. And if that feels like you, then I would say we're right. We're a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a, a lot of the issues, whether it's designated as such or, you know, metabolic issues, most people like that encompasses your know, lab work. It encompasses, uh, you know, what you think about your status, um, stress levels, but this all, we're dealing with metabolic health really, which is uh, behavioral. I mean, in, in any way and all the aspects that combine to make that term you know, relevant. So I think we're, we're dealing with, in Restore, we're dealing with diet, exercise, sleep, stress, you know, uh, self-evaluation, I mean, so many things, because this is, this is a multifaceted um, uh, condition. I mean, when I, when I studied obesity uh, in and of itself, I had to break it down into five major components. Even that in and of itself is multifaceted and be, the behavioral issues are, are involved in that. So, I think what Restore does, it, it helps you change your behaviors to your advantage and towards your goals. I mean, and that's, and, but in an expertly presented and a safe and successful manner. Cool. Let's, let's look at the other side now. What, what type of practitioner would say, I, I need to incorporate this into my practice? What, what, What's the demographic of the metabolic practitioner or the doctor or the nurse that says we need to incorporate restore programs? I may defer to Dr. Ben here, seeing okay. as he's, he's the doctor. All right. All right. I, I think that what we're looking at medicine now or the field of medicine, which is obviously separate and distinct from health, but has to deal with these, what we call metabolic issues. These are the things that, you know, if we look at COVID-19, okay, what, what are the problems that people have? Who are the people that get affected most significantly and, and die, uh, you know, unfortunately from this? These are people who are metabolically compromised, obese, diabetic, uh, heart, cardiac risk people. And, and medicine now and health really has all to do with uh, 
metabolic medicine, meaning that these are conditions that are behaviorally induced. You don't catch diabetes. You don't catch obesity. You don't catch the, you know, the depression. These are things that are behaviorally and environmentally induced. So doctors are realizing that the treatment, therefore, has to be metabolic. Uh, I'm sorry, has to be behaviorally based. So this is what we do when we're coaching these people. They don't, you can't sit, a, a doctor, you come in and you have high blood pressure. He says, okay, here's your blood pressure. Here's your medicine. You know, come back in four weeks. Okay, that's two minutes. If he, if he says, well, you have high blood pressure and it may have a lot to do with what you eat and how you exercise and your stress levels, then he has to get into this whole conversation. In reality, he does not have the time and may not have the background, but he certainly doesn't have the time if he wants to pay his bills to go through all of these things. That's what a health coach can do, can augment, can complement, okay, can supplement what the doctor can do. And if he can rely on those people being um, educated, being uh, have, having the facility to do this thing at a high level, you know, appropriate for what he wants to offer, then it takes a great burden off him and it also gives him feedback. We can send reports to the doctor every month and say, these are red line issues. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that is still developing in the restore world too, that we can add. And so we can work with the doctor. And I think it is a godsend for him to have people, <laughs> you know, we can even, you know, from, from this kind of a standpoint, there are even what we call CPT codes where he can bill to review these services, review the reports. So it's not all negative. He can actually, you know, enhance his, uh, his uh, profession. He can enhance, enhance his services by making a few bucks dealing with this, but not having to go into the weeds and the nitty gritty with, with, with this kind of a multifaceted intervention. The health coaches can take care of that for him. Scott, we got a question from Cecile. Uh, um, if a low carb clinician refers a pa or refers patients to you, is their medical license at risk or is that covered in your liability insurance? I know some docs would like to work with coaches, but don't have bandwidth to supervise education coaches are providing to supervise the education that coaches are providing. Yeah. So I'd go back to what a coach's scope of practice is to like ultimately like big scale answer this question, coaches are never going to diagnose, treat, or prescribe. And so coaches are going to work with someone to elicit their uh, own motivation for change and to help uh, someone change their behavior. And when uh, a member is working, kind of it's like a, uh, a continuum of care when they're working with a physician who is direct, kind of giving them specific direction, then the member can show up with those goals and the coach isn't necessarily telling them what to do or educating them on it, but rather helping them figure out how to make those things happen and why those things are important to them and what matters to them. So, um, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't see that as an issue, but certainly, you know, we, we do have the ability if, if you're a physician and you're considering, Oh, I might want to, uh, offer this to, to my patients, but I, I don't know what's in there. Um, you know, we can certainly talk about that and making sure that you feel comfortable um, with, with the content that's available in the app and the education that's being delivered. But I'd also say it's all been, uh, you know, approved, reviewed, certified, in, in large part created by um, Doug and Ben uh, and by Low Carb USA. So, yeah, and also, Jeff, uh, Jeff, isn't, uh, can you explain uh, how, what is it, 49 states that accept the NASN? Um, that's correct. Uh, certification. In other words, for example, if these coaches are certified and they are, then the states, the 49 states accept the fact that they can give nutritional advice. We call sports nutrition, but that's the way that we handle this. Sports nutrition, you know, regular nutrition, everybody's in the sport of life. So these people uh, have the uh, blessing of 49 state certification agencies or licensing agencies to give this kind of advice. And as far as, for example, exercise, um, there is no, there is no national, uh, th there are no real state certifications. Um, so if someone be, you're talking now about maybe a possible legal situation, that's what the doctors are worried about. I got that. But these are not um, irresponsible. These are responsible, certified people in, in each of these fields. And certainly these coaches are people 
and the doctor will be made well aware of that. Uh, these are people capable of giving this. These are educators. Okay, these are not doctors. These are not, like Kristen said, these are not prescribers. These are suggestors. These are people that say, from what we know from the literature, what, the, what common practice is, healthy practice, this is what we suggest, and this is how we think you might apply it to your, and it's your choice, but this is my, how you might apply it to your lifestyle plan. Yes. So one thing that is, is firmly um, taught in, in both Zillion Restore and through the NASN is scope of practice. So, so we, we can't treat, only medical practitioner can treat disease, right? Or prescribe or diagnose, just like Kristen said. Um, but e even further than that, within certain states, uh, um, the term nutritionist is set aside for only medical practitioners. We can't use the, the term nutritionist. We can use nutrition specialist. Um, and as long as what we do is preventative in nature, uh, um, and uh, um, that, that preventative nature could be very well the exact protocol that someone, that a medical practitioner or a medical dietitian would use for treatment, as long as we are preventative in presenting it, then we stay within our scope. And uh, um, that limits liability very much so. And as laws change, we keep up with that. So all 50 states, there's, there's changes from year to year in, in what nutritional practitioners, personal trainers can do, just, just, just as new things and new technology come out. Uh, laws try to adapt to that. Um, do the do the practitioners who refer restore do they get um, an interface where they can see that the patients uh, that are referred by them are involved in the program, or that there are there metrics that they can measure and see? Is that shared at all? That's a question for the panelists. Yeah. So. <clears throat> We, there's, there's certainly a line. Um, I would say that's something we would have to talk about with someone on an individual basis as to like what level of reporting um, we would be able to, to share and have access to, um, you know, wanting to be uh, sure that we are, you know, following any HIPAA guidelines and that we're protecting any personal health information or uh, identifying information for any participants. Um, but also, you know, just like any, uh, maybe other client that we may have, you know, you, you want assurances that what you're doing is working, whether it's for your patients or for your employees or, uh, you know, all of the different kind of modalities that we work in. So um, that's something we would, I think we would, you know, discuss on an individual basis to get to a place where everybody feels happy. That's good. So in working with, pra with, with practitioners, are, are, are some of them, contacting you and saying, how's my patient doing? How's my patient doing? Or is it the, the, the typical thing like, thank God that you can work in the trenches in the day to day and, and, and I get to see their A1C in 90 days. What, what's, what's your experience with clinicians? Yeah, so I would say we're still very much so in the growth phase. And so far we've had a lot of direct um, participants, a lot of folks who have enrolled kind of as individuals um, and not as many who have enrolled maybe through their um, practitioner, we're certainly excited about and hopeful for potentially, you know, uh, seeing some of um, Dr. Pickett's uh, patients or, you know, other uh, clinicians or physicians' patients who um, have had the opportunity to kind of uh, kick the tires a little bit and see what we're all about. Would either of you like to relay a short story, uh, uh, anonymously, anonymously, of course, of an experience you've had with a, a client that was uh, um, heartwarming or humorous or <laughs> tell me a story. Tell us a story. Tell you a story. Um, well, so I'll share a story and then, um, cause I've, I kind of have, have one that comes to, to mind with some of the stuff we've been talking about. Um, I think that when a lot of, when a lot of folks think about trying to change their habits, you think about maybe like, New Year's resolution, right? Or uh, on your birthday, kind of whatever intentions you might set for yourself, or even just like regular goal setting. Um, oftentimes we go real big and, and real nonspecific. Uh, 
Um, and something Sarah mentioned earlier is that we try to make everything kind of small and simple. And so perfect example um, with a member, an individual that I have worked with in the past who was uh, struggling to incorporate exercise into a daily routine for them. And it was important for them to um, be moving their body uh, on a daily basis and then also for them to be getting regular exercise as well. Um, and so we peeled it back to the very beginning, like the bare bones of, of what, what that habit is based around. Um, and for this, this individual, it was, you know, my, I come home from work and normally what I do is I change to my comfy clothes and I lay down on the couch and I watch some TV until it's time for dinner and, and you know, so forth. Uh, and so instead we started at the beginning, that's, that's the pattern. So we have to interrupt that pattern and, uh, started instead of changing the comfy clothes we're just going to change into the workout clothes and instead of going to the couch we're just going to go downstairs because that's where all the workout equipment is we're not even going to like pick anything up we're not going to do anything we're just going to put the workout clothes on and go downstairs and we'll just do that for a while until your brain starts to sort of rewire that pattern of like when i come home from work i put on workout clothes and i go downstairs where the workout stuff is and then like once you're down there if you feel like it maybe you just do five push-ups and like then after you do five push-ups who knows? Maybe you do a few squats. Like it just, it, it is, you know, uh, momentum. Like it's easier to just keep going once you've started moving, but also it's like totally, uh, like a, a doable and manageable way of approaching a goal like that. Because on a day where you had a terrible day and you do not feel like, uh, moving your body or exercising in any way, you get a win by putting on your workout clothes and going downstairs. And of course, we the goal is to eventually grow and build to that regular exercise, exercise routine and moving your body regularly. Um, but that's not something like, that individual took it and it was like a light bulb because then they thought, I could do this in so many other areas of my life too where I'm starting out making it way too hard on myself. And the first thing I need to do is learn sort of the pattern. Like I need to just go through the movements of what it would be like to do this thing before I start making it really challenging on myself and asking a lot of myself. Um, that's one of my favorite kind of behavior change exercise. And that's, I think that's a great example of like what coaching is and what coaching is about. Good story. Well, Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can share some stuff, just a, a member that came to mind that I worked with um, a while ago, uh, just had a lot of um, negative feelings about their body because they were overweight, felt really just hard to had actually due to the weight had um, some, some foot and ankle problems so that they weren't even able to they had to wear braces on both of their legs to be able to walk. And so, you know, the majority of their uh, activity for the day involved walking from their car to their office, so then from their office to their car to go home, and then, um, you know, walk, standing around the kitchen to make dinner, and then that's it, you know? And so um, it was really a, 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 just a hard process to mentally to feel like, could I ever do more? Yeah, I feel like I have so many limitations and I'm not happy with myself. And so we uh, made a plan to have her text me one thing she's grateful for every day or every other day, um, something that she, that she lives for, something that she's happy about. And, um, and so she started, you know, talking about her kids and how their, you know, their smiles made her happy or even like, Today, I, I walked up and down the stairs um, instead of taking the elevator, and I'm really proud of myself. And so celebrating those really small victories. And of course, they snowballed and snowballed and snowballed. Um, you know, she, she definitely um, had, had an issue with uh, using alcohol when, when things were hard or her body hurt or things like that to, uh, to cope. But then um, would celebrate when she was able to drink water instead. And so, you know, fast forward a full year of um, making these small changes in her mind and she lost over a hundred pounds and yeah. was able to um, exercise. Uh, you know, I got an email from her the other day that she just ran a 5k, you know, yeah. different things of how um, 
making like like Kristen said starting at the very bottom and really examining like what are the mindsets that you're believing about yourself or um, about your situation and how can we make small changes to that so that we can move forward and of course like that did not happen in two months it didn't happen in three months it happened in a year and it's a continuous process even from there and so um you know that I feel like that's just a good example of someone who's very, very far from their goals, but set up ways to enjoy the process instead of just waiting for the end result. So. Great story. Great story. Yeah. Great example. To, to clarify, Carl wants clarification. Is restore HIPAA compliant? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Very good. That's a, a very, very important thing to us. And we, we uh, observe uh, HIPAA and all things. We try to re remain. We don't try. We are compliant. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so we've reached the bottom of the of the questions. You guys have any parting remarks? You want to want to clarify how to get in contact? Uh, um, anything to say before we sign off? Yeah, um, Kristen, I think you can give them the contact information. I, I just have a couple of comments as a professional. Um, I know a lot of docs that have a, a similar philosophy to what it is that we do at low carb and at restore, which is having people take their own health into their hands, okay, in their own hands and doing something about it. Okay, this is a great way um, to get that done, to get that accomplished. The, the, these are researched, practiced techniques that are being used by professional people and I think that the relative cost, if you shop around a little bit at, 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 for health coaching and you see what this program offers at this cost, it, it almost feels to me like we're stealing, you know? I mean, this is, it, it's crazy, uh, but it's effective. And probably most people, even if it's not for the rest of their lives, for some period of time until they reach some place where they have some stability or handle on their own lifestyle, I think this thing is, is, is a wonderful project. Uh, and I think it's applicable to any level at any age. And it's, it's reliable, safe, all the things that we want to reinforce when we're doing these kind of programs. So I just think it's a great opportunity. And we are still developing processes, procedures, and services at the level of Restore to make this thing more uh, digestible for, for many different circumstances and operations. Great. Yeah. I threw the, uh, the website in the uh, chat again and the phone number as well. So if you want to copy that over, um, restorehealth.com slash low carb or the phone number that you can call is 855-475-5123. Um, or if you need an email, I know you can just email me and I'll get you in touch with the right person. It's just Kristen at zillion.com. Very simple, easy email to remember. Um, yeah. Kristen and Sarah, I th thank you for this great presentation. And um, what I really look forward to is more stories, more, more testimonials about how you've affected people's lives. I know myself as a practitioner, what really drives me uh, to come into work in the morning is, is knowing that we're making a difference, knowing that we're helping people and actually seeing that happen um, so I know that this program has already in the video you've seen already impacted people and, and we're excited to find out who is going to get most impacted next. Um, so we look forward to hearing more from you guys and more about Restore. You've been listening to an episode of the Low Carb USA podcast. You can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash low carb USA.